Hello everyone. Hi guys. And welcome to a slightly damp and dreary episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. Yes, you are. And um, we are coming to you from outside. It is a little wet here in Texas right now. Um, but the lighting is better out here, so that's why we do it. Yes. Um, I've got something I'm going to try in this episode that I've never done or we've never done before. No, I have not. It's the angel wing pour. Um, it's a really interesting technique that creates these really beautiful lines that kind of look like an angel wing going down like in this kind of fashion. Um, I've never done it before, but I've done my homework. I've studied and studied and looked at layering of cups and how you do the technique. And I'm going to give it a go. That's awesome. Yeah. What about you? I'm going to be doing a balloon dip. Okay. A kiss and blow, as Jilly, uh, Jilly Cube would call it. She does, in fact, call it exactly that. Yes. And um, I know you've done two of them before. Yes. But it's not a regular reel for the show no. either. So no. it's interesting that you're going to tackle it again. Yes. With some really interesting colors I have seen. Yes. So well done. Um, if you are here because you're trying to see what an angel wing paw or a balloon kiss and blow looks like, then come with us on this journey and let us show you how we do it. Now, we can't promise it's going to be super successful, but we're going to have some fun along the way. Um, so, if you are here, please hit the like and subscribe. And if you feel inclined, please, sharing is caring. So share this video along to your social media for us too. And with that said, let's get to the table. Yes, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get some pouring. All right, ladles and jelly spoons, it's Lee here, and I'm going to go first. So, as we just said in the intro, um, Jeremy's going to try something that he hasn't done that much of, which is that wonderful balloon kiss. Yes. I'm going to do something that I've never done before. I haven't even practiced this one. So, you're going to watch this one with me, and we're going to learn on this together. And that is the angel wing paw. So um, I've seen other artists do it and it looks really awesome. I'm going to try and replicate it and see what comes out. So Jeremy picked these colours, apart from one addition that I threw in, and let me talk you through them. So we've got the Grumbacker and this is the permanent light blue light, which is this colour right here. Stunning. Yeah, beautiful. We've got the Master's Touch Naples Yellow, which is a real peachy Naples Yellow. Some of the other Naples Yellows are more yellow, but that has definitely got an orange tone to it. Mm. We've got the Artist Loft Medium Viscosity Paint. This is a level two, and this is Powder Blue, which is this wonderful color here. I love this. Oh, it's beautiful. More blue than my favorite grayish blue, which is lovely. This one here is an Amsterdam. Now this is permanent red violet which we love, we use a lot of. And then this one right here, Dioxazine Purple, which is a staple in the studio. Now this was my addition. So this is the one that I added, and that is Turquoise Phalo. We love this Turquoise Phalo. We reuse it a lot. You guys in your Super Chats got us this really big tub. So thank you so very much for that. Now, let me just move these off here. Now. The only difference between Jeremy's and my color palette is our base coat colors. I've got Prussian Blue as my base coat. Ooh. So this is just Prussian Blue mixed with Floetrol and then some water to cover my canvas, which is, incidentally, a 15 by 30 Jerry's Artorama at the Edge canvas. And I went for this kind of shape particularly or specifically because my plan is to pour my angel wing from this side and then allow it to like come down the canvas and then I'll stretch it left and right to try and open it up. Hmm. Hmm, indeed, because we've never done this before. <laughs> so we're gonna see what happens. Um, I've got my cup here for layering, but the first thing we're gonna do is actually flood my base coat with this wonderful Prussian below. So let me get to that first. All right. All right, peeps. Beautiful reflective Prussian blue base coat there. So let's get layering this cup. Um, I'm going to do it right here. Now I'll keep these sticks in here for you, Jeremy, because I know you might want them. All right, I'm going to kind of go light and dark, light and, light and dark here. But I'm going to start off with my turquoise phalo, which I love. Just a smaller layer. 
and then go in with this wonderful light blue. Again, just a smaller layer. All right. Now let's do some dioxazine. And some powder blue. I love that color. Wow, oh my God, so it's pretty. Stunning. Right? Next to the permanent deep. Yeah, it's just beautiful. And I gotta admit, this is probably my least favorite of the colors in the palette. This peachy, this peachy Naples yellow, but I see it has a home here, so it will get used. Phalo again. Some more of that wonderful blue. Dioxazine. That powder. Wonderful. Permanent violet. Naples. And this is probably going to be my very last layer. There we go. So that's my layered cup. Now, I calculated that I need 16 ounces, but I've definitely gone higher than that because I wanted to make sure I had enough so that I could get the composition <coughs> I'm looking for because, as I say, I've never done this before. So, taking a couple of rye pots. These are just the Golden's tubs. These are the 16 ounces. I'm just going to prop up my canvas here right at the very end. So let's get to that. Now I'm trying the 16 ounce tubs first, but if this doesn't give me enough of a rise, then I'll come back and I'll throw the 32 ounce tubs in, which are just ever so slightly taller. So Jeremy, this is what's gonna happen. I'm going to pour this cup straight down the middle of this canvas. Yes. Um, so if there's a possibility of, of anything happening, it's going to happen around about here. Okay. All right. So I've got to see how I'm going to hold this. All right, let's hold it like a jug and see what happens. Hmm. Okay. I don't want this to roll off the canvas just yet, but I'm happy with it just doing what it's doing. So I'm just going to tilt it just ever so slightly to my left. Just so that it continues to roll. Whilst it does that, I'm going to torch it off. So now it's kind of, well, it is actually still rolling, but I am going to remove these tubs now so that I can then get to stretching. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. Let's see what's in this paint. Yeah. Hmm. I'm interested to see what's going to happen next. So, everybody, you know what time it is. It's tilting time. It is, in fact, tilting time. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Let's let's see what is underneath all these layers. A cold inside tore my mind, stole my peace. I prayed for ease, but feared that my days were over. It's hard to pass to fill that gap you need to open up all your days are over but you send your light to be found All right, people, Angel Wings, this is not. I definitely did not get the composition that I set out to do. And like I said, it was my very first attempt. So I clearly am not getting that little technique of the backwards and forwards with the paint right. However, what I got on the canvas, I am absolutely gosh damn crazy in love with. Um, this is a really, really stunning composition. Um, I love this kind of spine of cells that came down the middle. And when I take you guys in to see a close-up of this picture, you'll just see quite how many layers and lines and rings I've got in here, this part, and the all the colors running all the way through this. Um, I really couldn't be in love 
any more with the actual composition, but it wasn't exactly what, it was nothing like what I set it out to be, but I'm gonna call this one a very happy accident because I really, really do love it. I love it. I think it's amazing. Thank you, Studio Hubby. I love it too. So I am going to get all of my edges, just make sure that everything has been taken care of. I will touch this one last time, and then we're going to take you in for a close-up. Thanks, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Jeremy here. Show pony. <laughs> Hashtag show pony. <laughs> Hashtag show pony. And um, I am going to do something that I've only done, what, twice? twice. Mm -hmm. um, and the second time I was kind of eh. Yeah, the, it's, you know, it's so funny. Our first attempts at everything are always the better. Yeah. And then we right? just mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to be doing a... Kiss and blow, mm. or what's, you know, what Jilly, Jilly Cube calls balloon kisses. Um, and uh, if you haven't seen Jilly Cube, go and check out her channel. Oh it's, my God. She's amazing. Not only is she like an amazing oh, artist, yeah. but she's just a stunning human being. Oh, she's so sweet. Right? Yeah. She's adorable, but yeah. I guess it's because she used to live in Birmingham. So, you know, yeah. fellow Brit. So anyway, <laughs> I am. I am going to be doing the, the balloon dip, the kiss and blow, and um, you saw the colors, Lee introduced those, mm -hmm. so why don't we go ahead and get to flood my canvas and get going. Do it. All right. Okay guys, I got my coat down, my first coat down. Um, I flooded my canvas and now I'm gonna take my colors and what I'm gonna do with my colors is, is that I'm gonna kind of swirl them on the bottom one third mm -hmm. of the canvas. Okay. And, um, and then what I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna take a little bit of white and I'm gonna swipe that white over the color. Got it. And then I'm going to take it from there. Okay. I'll let you know what happens after that. Let's do it. <laughs>
Okay guys, so I got all my colors uh, like swirled out onto here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stretch it a little bit um, and take maybe take a little bit of that down off the, the bottom here because there's a lot of paint on my canvas. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white um, and I'm going to just put it along the top of here and I'm going to use my little plastic swipe that we got from Susan Shepherson. Well done. Um, yes. Thank, thank you, you Susan. so much for this. It's amazing. And I'm going to swipe over with the, with the white over the colors. Awesome. Yes. Yes. Okay guys, now that I have swiped over my colors with the white, I'm going to use my little bent metallic straw here, my metal straw, and I'm gonna do my little blows uh, uh, up upwards. Um, and that's gonna start the beginning of my kiss and blows. Got it. <laughs> Okay guys, so now that I have my little stems going on and my little blows out here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this for about 15 to 20 minutes because I want the paint to kind of get sticky and tacky. So that way whenever I do my balloon kisses that it actually pushes the paint and makes the kiss. So um, we'll be back in 15 to 20. All right guys, so it has been exactly 20 minutes it has really indeed <laughs> so i'm already getting like cells it's kind of crazy um it's really interesting i'm loving the colors how they're like mixing together mm -hmm. um so i have my balloon kisser right here and um i'm gonna start my balloon kisses go for Let's it see how this goes i'm now, really nervous i laid your pee pads down here which yes. i can remove as soon as they get too dirty now we're okay. not kissing onto another canvas no only because we don't have time to allow it to dry yeah exactly unfortunately whereas you can kiss onto a canvas right yes okay here we go
Okay guys, so this is my kiss and blow. Um, I think it's very successful. I really love the colors. I love the flowers. This one looks like it's a little, it's lost a few petals, which is kind of cute. Um, some of them still look like they're blooming. Uh, these three really came out really well. But all in all, I think it's a very successful um, piece. I think it's very pretty colors. It's I love very colors. pretty colors, yeah. yeah. Great, great palette. So I think I'm going to clean up my edges and take you guys in for a close-up. Let's do it. Yes. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. So, huh, hmm. angel wing paw, it was not. <laughs> Happy accident, absolutely. Um, I really loved what happened on my piece. Me too. It was not what was meant to happen on my piece, but I really, 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 really enjoyed it. Yes. Um, I'm going to ask some of my mentors for some assistance, mm. just to see what it was that I didn't do correctly. Huh. It was probably the layering, or it was just the technique of getting the paint out of the cup. It could have been a mixture of the two. But I'm going to throw this one out to a couple of the people that I speak to regularly, who you know, and they're probably here on the channel, um, to let me know what they think I did wrong. But I did love your balloon kiss. Thank you. It was, again, super successful. Thank you. I loved your color choices. Thank you. What did you think? I, I love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, I love bright colors, so it's just it just really worked for me. Right. Um, yeah. Jilly said that these things are addicting, and they really it are. Is. Because you can get some really interesting it's results. So much fun. It, is, it looks like fun because you're messing around with a balloon. I love yeah. It. Would you please show the wonderful people sure. at home your dried piece, please? Yes. And I hope that doesn't blow out on the camera. No, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. Talk them through it. Yes. Or you can just stand there holding it for you. Well. <laughs> Whichever you prefer. <laughs> I'm really loving all, like, all of it, honestly. I love how these came out really, really pretty up here. I like how these are kind of a little sparse, so it's like gives you a little bit of contrast. Um, but I am. I love all the colors and how it looks. Um, I think it's a huge success. I really, really love it. So I hope you guys like it too. Can't wait to hear the comments on it. I loved your critique. I just love it all. That's, that is my <laughs> critique. Okay, now this is mine. So, as I said, angel wing, it is not. But, absolutely blooming marvellous composition with tons of lines and this kind of almost mm. like a backbone. It's like a spine that runs down the, the canvas. Yes, it is. Um, it's, it's amazing. I, I love yours. I, well, thank you. I really love it too. Now this has Blicotex Gloss Medium in it, so it has got a wonderful shine on it. But I, I did get some amazing colours, some cells, some lines. There is a little bit of everything to, to please the eye on this one. But I also did just love the composition that came out as a result of layering that cup. Nice. And pouring that one in that way. Nice. So yeah, I, I have to try this again because I will get the angel ring right, yes. the angel wing right, um, because it's my mission to do a good yes. one. But I'm gonna see what I did wrong and then just make some corrections. We say on this channel, this is a journey for us. Um, you know, we've done a gazillion ring pause yeah. and Dutch pause and straight pause, but there are some things that we wanna keep trying. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you're on this journey with us. So once again, please like and subscribe. Thank you for being with us on this wet and dreary in Texas Tuesday afternoon. And we hope to see you on Friday yeah. for a really awesome episode. Um, we might have already poured it. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to tell you that there's some really, really great pours coming up over the next few episodes. Yes. So we're excited to share those with yeah. you. We, uh, we appreciate you being here. So listen, guys, go have fun on this Tuesday evening and we'll see you very soon. Bye, guys. Bye. So we want to take a moment to spank. Spank. <laughs>
<laughs> Spank some berries. <laughs> 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 We want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. So, we have some awesome people that we'd like to take a moment to thank, and that is at the gold level, we have Janice Swansea, we have Jane Klein, we have Trisha West and Donna Patterson, we have Gloria Salaki, we have Nate Bright, Linda Serian, and Amy Gardner, who you all know as Crafty Chicken Mom. Yes, that's right. And on our platinum level, we have Leslie Beaver, and Janice Pittman. And our one and only diamond level Massey Posse is Sparkles. Yay! AKA Laurie Finzer. And we'd really love to say we appreciate you all. Thank you so very much. And everyone else that's listed down here below, yes. thank you so much for being a Patreon. Absolutely. We really genuinely appreciate you. Thank you so very much.